Good morning to all those watching from Zion Episcopal Church and elsewhere. This is Morning Prayer Rite 1 for Saturday, July 15th, the Saturday in the sixth week after Pentecost. We'll be beginning on page 37 of the Book of Common Prayer. The Psalms point for today are Psalms 20 and 21, which can be found starting on page 608. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepare the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. And to whom I swear on my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. Send you help from his holy place and strengthen you out of Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Grant you your heart's desire and prosper all your plans. We will shout for joy at your victory and triumph in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now I know that the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He will answer him out of his holy heaven with the victorious strength of his right hand. Some put their chariot some put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall down, but we will arise and stand upright. O Lord, give victory to the king and answer us when we call. The king rejoices in your strength, O Lord, how greatly he exalts in your victory. You have given him his heart's desire. You have not denied him the request of his lips. For you meet him with blessings of prosperity and set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him, length of days, forever and ever. His honor is great because of your victory. Splendor and majesty you have bestowed upon him. For you will give him everlasting felicity, and will make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord, because of the loving kindness of the Most High, he will not fall. Your right hand will lay hold upon all your enemies. Your right hand will seize all those who hate you. You will make them like a fiery furnace at the time of your appearing, O Lord. You will swallow them up in your wrath and fire shall consume them. You will destroy their offspring from the land and their descendants from among the peoples of the earth. Though they intend evil against you and devise wicked schemes, yet they shall not prevail. For you will put them to flight and aim your arrows at them. Be exalted, O Lord, in your might. We will sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A lesson from the Acts of the Apostles, the 11th chapter, beginning with the first verse. Now the apostles and the believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the, un the circumcised believers criticized him, saying, Why did you go to uncircumcised men and eat with them? Then Peter began to explain it to them, step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheet coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. As I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles, and birds of the air. And I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill, and eat. But I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean, you must not call profane. This happened three times, and everything was pulled up again to heaven. At that very moment, three men sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where we were. The Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and us. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen the angel standing in his house and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, that you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, 
It was I that I could hinder God. When they heard this, they were silenced. And they praised God, saying, Then God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. Here endeth the lesson. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear and holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. O God, who has taught us to keep all thy commandments by loving thee and our neighbor, grant us the grace of thy Holy Spirit that we may be devoted to thee with our whole heart and unite to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world didst rest from all thy works, and sanctify a day of rest for all thy creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of thy sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to thy people in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who didst stretch out thine arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace, so clothe us in thy spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.